This is exhibition in the Pushkin Museum, and this is Pavel Pepperstein works on your screen. <clears throat> this is a series of 21 watercolors illustrations of William Blake's poem, which are currently on display at the Sprovieri Gallery in London. The drawings illustrate images charged with strong religious, satirical and poetical content. In Pepperstein graphics, mythology encounters avant-garde forms to which the artist adds uh, his own handwritten description. The Song of Innocence and of Experience by Blake has an important place in both literature and the history of art. For illustrators, this work serves not only as a unique example of the author's book, but also the, an inexhaustible source of inspiration. I would like to show you how famous contemporary Russian artists create illustration for songs of innocence and experience, wishing to demonstrate their professional capabilities and their own vision, as well as their understanding of Blake's poetry. Contemporary Russian illustrators are fascinated by the extraordinary expressive and emotional power of Blake's main work and their deep philosophical meaning, which is often hidden behind the outward simplicity of his poetry. The young Moscow artist Maria Titova, Katya Vatil, and Vera Yelunina have made wonderful illustration for the songs of experience. You can see two drawings by Marie Titova for the Equine Green. In a personal conversation with me, Maria said that following about these words, the Equine Green seems for me to be a mystical spirit of nature, and I would love to listen to its voice, its echo and musical rhythm. It's the sound of this poem I find resonance, ringing and silence. Maria Titova has been creative large format illustration. They look very impressive and self-contained. This is a largely down to her complex technical based on mixed media, such as ink on paper with stencil and black pencil. For some time, Maria has been studying tradition and types of ornamental. In her book illustration, he is, is interested in plants motifs. She always built the composition around one central element, which has a symbolic meaning. In this case, it is a bell and leaf with a long carving steam. Three illustrations by Katya Vatel for Blake's Night are completely different in both character and techniques. According to the artist, this poem enhanced her with a special mood of calm, philosophical reflection and metaphor. The style of Prince by Katya is rooted in the works of Andrei Goncharov, who in 1978 made a series of magnificent illustrations for Blake's poetry. However, unlike the images of Goncharov, Katya's print are less graphic. She knows how to correctly combine black and white colors in order to express the image of the hidden meaning of Blake poetry. There are no fragments of text in Katya illustration. The artist strives for minimalism, so every detail of her prints um, is carefully thought out. Another artist who has completed a serial of interesting illustrations for Son of Innocence is Lera Yelunina. Right now you can see her drawings for a Crandall song. Lera likes to create two images for each verse of Blake's poem. Usually her illustrations are quite similar. 
in their composition, but very in their moods. Comparing these two drawings, you begin to notice a certain individual detail that help to understand her visual in interpretation of Black's text. For Lera, the religion aspect plays a huge role. So the images of Angel appears in almost of her, uh, her graphic works. In addition, he uh, tends to frequently use her favorite colors, it's blue, which also bring to mind the tradition of Western European Christian art. Lera Yelunina's illustrations are distinguished by their striking ease of execution. They look almost like children's drawing. The soft, uh, the soft silhouette and slowing lines of the folds of the angel clothes help the artist to cavate the character of Blake's work. Striving to harmony in the main purpose of this artist. Lera um, does not target a wide audience, rather her works are private. Silence, peace and quiet are the primary distinguished future of all the illustration but these but this masters of the form. The next two illustrations have been done by Alisa Yufa. Alisa Yufa was born in Novosibirsk, but now uh, this young artist lives and works in St. Petersburg. In 2015, Alisa received a special award from the government of St. Petersburg and was admitted to the Union of Artists of Russia. Alisa Yufa possesses a quality that is very um, available for a book illustrator. She knows how to interpret text in a non-standard and witty manner. She especially enjoy illustrating children's book. Alisa's graphic work are noted for the interesting composition and detail, which make us look closely at the image. Alisa is particularly sensitive in color. If we take a quick look at Alisa's illustration, they can appear monochrome. However, looking at them more closely, we understand that uh, there are many different shaders in their palette. Alisa successfully worked not only as a graphic artist, but also as an oil painter. She understands the rules of color and knows how to create a mood with its help. Another important detail that makes Alisa illustration, illustration stand out is the lack of connection with a specific season or time of day. The drawing seems to be timeless, which helps the viewer to um, uh, reach on their own imagination. You all perfectly understand how difficult it is to show the works of various illustrators inside one short presentation. Nevertheless, I must mention the name of Anastasia Arhipova. This artist draw in a pencil. I have picture of only one of her works. However, these drawings show how different in nature and technique of execution the illustration are to the Blake poetry. The images that you can see now deserve particularly close attention. They were made by the outstanding master of book illustration from Moscow, Yuri Bashenka. This artist began his professional career in about 1963. He has actively collaborated with all the well-known Russian publishing houses, and his graphic work are kept in many museums in Europe, and as well as in private collections in Russia, Great Britain, and the USA. A specific place in the Vashenka works is occupied by illustrating the works of English writers such as Lewis Carroll and William Blake. If we consider Washington illustration for Son of Innocence and of Experience, then it is worth highlighting those work in which the individual style of this artist of most clearly impressed. First of all, 
these are uh, these are his miniature illustration for Little Girl Lost and the Little Girl Found. As you can see, um, for the Little Girl Found, the artist completed two drawings, one of which has a highly elongated horizontal composition similar to a frieze. Vashenko works are distinguished restraint the author deliberately strives for minimalism. The space of the image has an important role for him. He fills it with bright, colorful spots, or leave it completely clean to supplement with fragment of text in Russia and English. Vashinka appreciate the mystical complicity in the works of William Blake, sometimes mm, something which, in his opinion, is absolutely necessary um, in personal creativity. The illustration on Another Sorrow is a typical example of the union between tradition and modernity. It's uh, um, this fusion of two principal inexorant in Washington works uh, that makes his art so um, meaningful. It's enough to look at one of the prints for the mariage of heaven and hell to understand that his artist's desire to immerse the viewer in the process of philosophical reflection. As we come to end of my report, I would like to summarize some of results. It's remarkable that in more modern Russia, where artists who have been inspired by the work of William Blake, their work fills the um, gap from Soviet period, then black poetry was translated fragmentally and had virtually no illustration. Today, the balance between word, poetical text, and image have finally been restored. Artists, our contemporaries, feel an urgent need to return historical justice and give up the opportunity to see different views of Blake and his ama amazing, imaginative world. Just in closing, I would like to uh, uh, say thanks Sibel and Jason and my colleague Vera and uh, other speakers for their very interesting contribution uh, for the last few days. If you have any question or feedback, please uh, feel free to email me. Thank you very much indeed.